Similar reason. Now, fourth question from first exercise. Let a set is equal to a plus root 5b such that a comma b belongs to e set. Check whether the usual multiplication check whether the usual multiplication is a binary operation on a. So here I want to find the usual multiplication is a binary operation on a or not. That is a question. Okay, we want to check. We want to verify. We want to verify usual multiplication is a binary operation on the set a or not. Where where the set a is equal to see a is a set which has the elements e of the form a plus root 5b such that a comma b belongs to e set. Here a plus root 5b is fully considered as one element. Okay. A is a set which has the elements e of the form a plus root 5b. Suppose c plus root 5d likewise. Okay. And e plus root 5f. So this fully considered as irrational number. So this fully one element. Okay. Such that the first one a and the coefficient of root 5 are belongs to set of all integers. This a and b belongs to set of all integers, but the whole number belongs to a. So that is the condition. We want to verify whether it is a binary operation or not. Okay. Now take your given condition. And also one more idea here a is a set. Listen carefully. a is a set and the multiplication is the operation. Multiplication means a dot. Okay. a is a set and the multiplication is the operation. I want to verify whether the multiplication is a binary operation on A or not. That is my A. Okay. Now take your given set. A set is equal to A plus root 5B such that A comma B belongs to E set. And instead of this such that one can do like this also. So it is also this simple also such that. A is equal to A is a set which has the elements E of the form A plus root 5B such that A comma B belongs to E set. Okay, which is a question. Now, to verify binary operation or not, I want to select any two elements. Okay, say for example, let, let x is equal to, suppose, let x is equal to a plus root 5b. Okay, let x is equal to a plus root 5b belongs to a and y is equal to, let y is equal to c plus root 5d belongs to a. Let's say. Say I am selecting two elements, a plus root 5b is it belongs to a, and the c plus root 5d belongs to a, such that we are giving this element fully considered as x, and this element fully considered as y, that's all. Now the operation is multiplication, that is important. Now listen, that is x into y is equal to, because operation multiplication, suppose <coughs> operation plus means here plus, but here multiplication, therefore x into y is equal to, what is x? Yes, x is equal to a plus root 5b into y is equal to c plus root 5b, that's all. We are selecting two elements and the multiplication is the operation. And the first element is given by x name and the second element is given by the name y, that's all. So x into y is equal to first element into second element, okay. which is equal to next step. Yes, usual multiplication. This a going to multiply the second bracket, two elements. That means a into c, a c. Now here after reversal. Good. a into root 5d, that is, plus root 5 into a d. Why not? Root 5 into a d, likewise. Over. Now root 5b going to multiply these two elements. Can you tell me your answer? Yes. Root 5 into b c, plus root 5 into b c. Next day plus into plus plus, root 5b into root 5d, where root 5 into root 5? Yes, 5, because root cancel. So 5 into bd, that's all. Now, I want to make the general form. Listen, the general form is a plus root 5b, this form we want to bring. So we want to bring this standard form. Okay, for, for that, so let us consider first element and the last element. First element and the last element, there is no root 5, here, no root 5. Here, no root 5. So that is why first and last one group. Then second element root 5. Third element root 5. So second and the third one group and the first and the last one group. That's the idea. Okay. What is first and last? AC plus 5 into BD. Okay. AC plus 5 into BD plus 
प्लस ऑफ कि ये रूट फाइव इज कॉमन ओके रूट फाइव इंट रूट फाइव ऑफ ए बी प्लस बी सी दैट्स ऑल लिसन से ए सी प्लस फाइव बी डी प्लस रूट फाइव ऑफ ए डी प्लस बी सी नाउ लिसन नाउ इट इज ऑफ द फॉर्म नाउ इट इज ऑफ द फॉर्म ए प्लस रूट फाइव बी इट इज ऑफ द फॉर्म ओके से फॉर एक्स यस इट इज ऑफ द फॉर्म This fully considered as a. It is of the form a plus root 5b. Why not? One may consider in some other way also. Now, now it is of the form. Now it is of the form. Suppose a plus root 5b. So the element is of the form a plus root 5b. Then the element is belongs to the set a. So that is why. For example. Now say this element is belongs to the given set a. Yes, because it is of the form a plus root 5b. Therefore, this element is belongs to a. Okay, and the whose left hand side is x into y. X into y. Where, listen, in the given condition, say a plus root 5b belongs to a, but the coefficients a and comma b belongs to integers. So where the first moon bracket. And the second moon, moon bracket belongs to integers. Is yes, it okay? Where, where, is it? Where a c plus five into b d, and uh, this moon bracket, and uh, a d plus b c belongs to is it? Okay, belongs to is it? So the first moon bracket and the second moon bracket are integers. Such that this uh, this fully considered as one element. Okay, this fully considered as one element. So this element is belongs to A because the first moon bracket and the second moon bracket are belongs to the set of all integers. Therefore, the usual multiplication is a binary operation on A is a conclusion. Therefore, usual multiplication. Usual multiplication is a binary operation. Is a binary operation on the set A. That's all. So, which is the right way to answer? Children, listen. Now, fifth question from first exercise. Define an operation star on Q as follows. Here, Q is a set. Star is the operation. Okay, here Q is a set. Star is the operation. Listen, Q is a set, and the star is the operation. That is important. Okay, define an operation star on Q as follows: a star b is equal to a plus b by two, such that a comma b belongs to Q. It's a condition. Listen, here if the star is defined between the two elements, then its answer is given by first element plus second element divided by two. Okay, is that a condition? See, suppose for example, a star e is equal to a plus e by two. Suppose b star c is equal to b plus c by two. Likewise, okay, is the condition. Whereas here, star is the operation which is defined by some rule. Okay, next, say examine the say examine the closer axis, comma commutative axis, and associative. Axiom. Okay, three axioms you want to verify. Okay, examine the closer commutative and associative properties. Properties or axiom, anyone? Okay, satisfied by star on Q. So we want to verify whether star is closer, star is commutative, star is associative. Uh, these properties are true or not? That you want to verify. Okay, which is the first sub reason? Okay, next the second sub reason. Again the same question. Listen, same question. Define an operation star on Q as follows. Here also define an operation star on Q as follows. Same line. Okay, the first line same. Next, a star b is equal to a plus b by two such that a comma b belongs to Q. Examine the first two lines same. Examine the existence of identity. Okay, examine the existence of identity. Existence of identity. Existence of identity and the existence of inverse 
and the existence of inverse. Okay, for the operation star on Q. See, there are two subdivision, subdivision 1, subdivision 2. Okay, in the examination point of view, the two subdivisions fully consider as 5 mark question. Suppose the first subdivision alone 1 3 mark question, second subdivision alone 1 3 mark question. So that is why they are given two subdivisions. Suppose these both subdivisions may be in 5 mark question. In first topic, I want to verify closer commutative associative. Second topic, I want to verify uh, that is identity axiom and uh, inverse axiom. That's all. Okay. For the operation star on Q. But uh, both the subdivisions condition is same. A star B is equal to A plus B by 2. Okay. Bro. Where Q is a set and the star is the operation. Okay. Now listen. First subdivision 1. Subdivision 1. See the topic. Subdivision 1. In which the first topic is closer axiom. Closer axiom. Okay. Closer axiom underlay. Closer axiom or binary operation. Okay. Closer axiom otherwise binary operation. Here, <coughs> listen, say clearly A comma B or where Q is a rational number. Since A comma B are rational, therefore A plus B by 2 is also a rational. Therefore, closer axiom is true. Listen, since A comma B are rational, since A comma B are rational, since A comma B are rational, therefore a plus b by 2 is also a rational. Therefore, a plus b by 2 is also a rational. Okay. Therefore, closer axiom is true. Therefore, closer axiom is true. Therefore, closer axiom is true. That's all. First one is completed. Okay. First topic completed. Next, we come to commutative. Listen, subdivision 2 is given by commutative. See, commutative axiom. Okay? Commutative axiom. Here already it is a see, closer axiom, subdivision 1, and a commutative axiom, subdivision 2. But the given question also, there is, they use it, this symbol. So that is why, for our convenience, which is topic 1. Okay, first topic. Subdivision 1, subdivision, subdivision 1, subdivision 2, subdivision 3. Okay, now commutative axiom. For commutative axiom, take the given condition as it is. That is, A star B is equal to, as per the condition, A plus B by 2. Okay. See, we know that commutative means A plus B equal to B plus A. 2 plus 3 equal to 3 plus 2. So, that is a commutative. 3 plus 4 equal to 4 plus 3. That is commutative. So that is why A star B equal to A plus B by 2 is the given condition. Now, A plus B equal to B plus A. Yes, A plus B equal to B plus A. Value will not change. A plus B equal to B plus A. Because A plus B equal to B plus A. Because addition is commutative in the set of all rational. Addition is commutative in the set of all rational. Therefore, A plus B equal to B plus A. Okay. Now, listen, the condition, first condition is, star is defined between the two elements means its answer is given by first element plus second element by 2. Now, conversely, first element A means here first A, second element B means here second B. Okay, that is a technique. Now, I have first element B. Okay, first element B means B, star, second element A, so that is why star A, that's all. Okay, initially we started A star B. Finally, we get B star A. Therefore, star is commutative. Or commutative axiom is true. Therefore, commutative axiom is true. Or star is commutative. Okay. Therefore, commutative axiom is true. Commutative axiom. Commutative axiom is true. Otherwise, star is commutative. Both are correct. Now, sub reason 3. Okay. Again. First topic, closer axiom is true. Second topic, commutative axiom is true. Okay, topic 3, which is associative axiom. Associative axiom. Associative axiom. Okay. Now, to prove associative axiom, we want to select the three elements. Listen, the three elements, A star, B star, C equal to. We know that the associative axiom is A star, B star, C equal to. A star, B star, C. So we want to prove that result. Okay. Now which is equal to A star 
bracket. First, we complete the bracket answer. See, we are taking LHS of the associative. Now, A star fix it. Complete the bracket answer. B star C. What is B star C? As per the condition. See, every time we want to use this condition. That is important. Okay. Every time I want to use this condition. B star C equal to. What is B star C? Yes. B star C is equal to B plus C by 2. That's it. Okay. B star C equal to B plus C by 2. That is B star C equal to first element plus the second element by 2. Okay. Now, again, A first element and this bracket fully considered as a second element. And if the star is different between the two elements means its image is given by first element plus the second element fully divided by 2. Okay. Now, listen. Long divide. First element plus second element. Second element is B plus C by 2. Second element B plus C by 2. Fully divided by 2. That's all. Okay. Which is equal to. Now, first complete the numerator. Cross multiply. 2 into A. 2 A. Listen. That is 2 into A. 2 A. So, 2 A. Here by 1 understood. So, 1 into B plus C. Fully divided by 2. Moon bracket. And already by 2 is available. Okay. Children, so, listen. Here. 2 comes a denominator. So, 2 to the 4. So, your answer is 2a plus b plus c divided by 4. Let it be which is equals number 1. Okay. Now, say change the bracket. That means here last 2 in the bracket. Now, we want to make the first 2 in the bracket. First 2 in the bracket means a star b star c which is equal to. Okay. First to complete the bracket. What is bracket? Yes. Where the bracket is equal to a plus b by 2 star c. Okay. Now, which is equal to? Now, star is defined between the two elements means first element plus second element fully divided by 2. So, your answer is given by first element. A plus B by 2 plus C long divide by 2. Okay. Which is equal to? Long divide. Now, cross multiply. Okay. Cross multiply means we get A plus B plus a 2C divided by 2. Already by 2. Okay. Which is equal to? Compress 2 to side 4. So your answer is a plus b plus a 2c fully divided by 4, which is equals to number 2. The left hand side is a star b star c. Okay. Now from 1 and 2. From 1 and 2. <coughs> from 1 and 2 we get. Listen. See from 1 and 2, suppose uh, RHS answers are equal, then LHS are uh, equal, therefore uh, associate answer is true. So, by individual inspection, we want to verify whether RHS are equal or not. Listen, here 2A, but here 1A. So, 2A plus B plus 2C. Here 1C, that is 2C, but by 4 fix it. Here, 2A plus B plus C is not equal to A plus B plus 2C. So, the RHS are not equal, therefore, the LHS are not equal. So, from 1 and 2, we get A star. That is, LHS is not equal to LHS because RHS are not equal. So, from 1 and 2 we get A star, B star C is not equal to, okay. So, these two answers are not equal. So, which is not equal to A star B star C. Therefore, associative action is not true. Therefore, associative action is not true. Therefore, associative action. Therefore, associative action is not true. Or star is not associative on Q, like that we can answer. Okay, that is a uh, three submissions completed. Here, first topic contains three submissions. First topic contains one, two, three. So three submissions completed. Now we have second submission. Children, listen. Now second submission. Define an operation star on Q as follows. A star B equal to A plus B by 2 such that A comma B belongs to Q. Examine the existence of identity and the existence of inverse for the operation star on Q. We want to verify. So, okay, the only, there is only two subdivisions. Now, second topic, subdivision, there are two subdivisions. Already three subdivisions completed. So, let us take it is subdivision 5. That is existence of identity. Okay. Existence of identity. Existence of identity. Okay. 
See, from the definition of identity, can you tell me what is the definition of identity? Yes, definition of identity is given by A star E is equal to A star E is equal to E star A is equal to A. A star E is equal to E star A is equal to A by the definition of identity. So, which is definition, okay, which is definition of identity. Okay, now next step, let us consider first and last. Okay, let us consider first and last. First and last means A star E is equal to A. Consider first and last. Now, say if the star is defined between the two elements, then its image is given by first element plus second element by 2 because A star B equal to A plus B by 2, which is a given condition. Now, using condition A plus E by 2, which is equal to A. Okay, now cross multiply. Cross multiply means A plus E is equal to 2A. Now we want to find the identity element E is equal to, so that is why E is equal to 2A, this A goes to right minus A, so minus A. So E is equal to 2A minus A equal to A. Okay, E is equal to A. Here, so we know that, but the, see, E equal to A. We know that the identity element is unique. Okay, so there must be, there is only one identity in the set. So, but the identity element is unique. But the identity element. But the identity element is unique. Okay. Here, E is not unique. Okay. Here, E, e is not unique. Because, suppose if we take A, you will get a E equal to A. Suppose similarly, uh, for example, B star E is equal to E star B is equal to B. Then considering first and last, B star E is equal to B, then you are going to get E equal to B. So, here the identity E is not unique. Here, here E is not unique. Okay, here the identity is not unique. Identity is unique, but here the identity is not unique. Here, the identity here, E is not unique, one can write. E is not unique. Okay, therefore, the identity axiom is not true. Therefore, identity axiom. Therefore, identity axiom is not true. Axiom. Identity axiom is not true. Okay. Again, A star E equal to E star A equal to A by the definition of identity. Considering first and last, we get E equal to A. Uh, but the identity element is unique. But here E is not unique. If you take A, you will get the answer A, E equal to A. If you take B, your answer is E equal to B. Therefore, E is not unique. Therefore, the identity axiom is not true. Now, subdivision 5. Listen. Subdivision 5 is existence of inverse. Existence of inverse. Okay. The existence of inverse. Here, since the identity axiom is not true, therefore we no need to discuss inverse axiom. Okay. We no need to discuss, no need to discuss inverse axiom. Since the identity axiom is not true, since the identity axiom. Since the identity axiom is not true, therefore, that is no need to discuss. Therefore, no need to discuss inverse axiom. Therefore, no need to discuss. No need to discuss. No need to discuss inverse axiom. See, the identity axiom failure means no need to discuss about inverse axiom. So, which is the conclusion. Children, listen. Sixth question. Fill in the following table. So listen. Fill in the following table so that the binary operation star on the set A is equal to A, B, C is commutative. Which means star is 
Listen. Star is commutative on the set A. A has the elements A comma B comma C. That's all. This table is given. Here, 1, 2, 3. So that is three places we have to fill. Okay. And the given condition is commutative. Given condition is commutative. Listen. It is very simple. Listen. So listen. Here, given that, see for example. For example, given that B star, okay. Listen carefully. B star C is equal to A. B star C is equal to A. Okay. Listen. B star C is equal to A. So listen. B star C. B star C is equal to A. Listen. B star C is equal to A. Since star is commutative. Commutative actually means A star B equal to B star A. B star C is equal to C star B. That is commutative. So, B star C is equal to A. It is given answer. Because commutative, B star C equal to C star B. So, C star B. C star B is equal to A. B star C equal to C star B. Because commutative axiom true. B star C is equal to A means, it's a C star B also is equal to A. Because commutative. Okay. Now, in the diagram, where is C star B? Find it. Listen. C star B. Okay. C star B is equal to A. So, this answer is A. Okay. One answer is wait filled. Okay. Next, similarly, suppose come to here. Listen. Here, listen carefully. B star A. Okay. Listen. B star A is equal to C. Okay. That is b star a b star a is equal to c is equal to c since a star is committed to you b star a equal to a star b so therefore a star b is equal to c so which is the next idea okay now where is a star b yes listen a star b is equal to a star b so a star b is equal to c so this answer is filled so this answer is c Okay, so already one box is we filled where is, which is A and the next box we filled which is the answer is C. Okay, next one more box we want to find. To find this box and one can consider suppose C which is A star C which means I want to find C, C star A. Listen, C star A is equal to C star A is equal to A. Okay. C star A. C star A is equal to A. Yes, is equal to A. C star A is equal to A. Therefore, C, C star A equal to A star C because commutative. That is A star C. A star C is equal to A. Now, where is A star C? Listen, A star C is equal to A. So, this answer is A. So, all the three boxes we fill. See, 1, 2, 3, 3. So, 3 places vacant. So, which we filled. Now, so listen. So, this uh, which is the answer and uh, beside I want to draw the diagram. See, fill the table. Okay. That is, star is the operation. Okay. Star is the operation in which A, B, C, A, B, C, Okay, so this answer I want to write here. Say that is already A, B. Next day, here C, B, A is given. So listen, C, B, A is given. And here A, C. And how many places vacant means uh, we want to find uh, B, C. Yes, here. Sorry, which is mistake. Yes, anyway. First I work, we want to fill the table. Star is the operation. And the given question is A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay. Here given elements B, B, C, A is given. B, B, C, A is given. Next in second column, 
B only that is here B is given okay and the third column A and C given here A C given that's all here 1 2 3 so these three places we want to fill already our as per our aim B star C is equal to A listen B star C is equal to A therefore C star B is equal to A so C star B is equal to A so which is A yes we filled A next one Next, B star A equal to C. B star A is equal to C. Therefore, A star B is equal to C. So, A star B is equal to C. So, this answer is C. Next, here C star A is equal to A. C star A is equal to A. Therefore, A star C is equal to A. A star C is equal to A. That's all. So, there are three places. One, two, three. So, these three places we fill. So, answer the answer. Children is in. Now, seventh question. Consider the binary operation star defined on the set A is equal to A, comma, B, comma, C, comma, D by the following table. So, table is given. Table is, there is no vacant. All the elements are filled. Okay, table is given. Question, is it commutative and associative? Is a question. See, is, yes or no type question. Okay, is it commutative and the associative question mark okay see the star is commutative or not next the star is associative or not that is a question we want to use this table okay now listen what is commutative yes a star b equal to b star a that is commutative listen the first step okay there is a two part first is a sub reason commutative second sub reason associative okay pa. listen sub reason one sub reason one is Say A star B equal to B star A. That is commutative. First, I want to find A star B. Listen, A star B is equal to. From the table, what is A star B? From the table, yes, listen, A star B. Okay, A star B is equal to C. A star B is equal to C. Okay, A star B is equal to C. So, therefore, is equal to C. A star B is equal to C from the question. A star B equal to C. Okay. Commutative means I want to find a B star A. Now listen. B star A equal to from the table. What is B star A? Yes. B star A is equal to D. B star A is equal to D. So this answer. Okay. Which is D. Now let it be which is the first equation and it is the second equation. Listen. A star B is equal to C, but B star A is equal to D. Here, C and D are not equal. Therefore, A star B is not equal to B star A. So, from 1 and 2. From 1 and 2. From 1 and 2, we get A star B is not equal to B star A. Therefore, star is not commutative. Therefore, star is not commutative. Star is not commutative on A. Therefore, star is not commutative on A. Therefore, star is not commutative. Star is not commutative on A. That's all. So, first is subdivision completed. Okay. Now, suppose, listen, subdivision 2. I want to verify associative. Okay. What is associative property? Yes. Associative property A star B star C equal to A star B star C. First, I want to take LHS of the commutative A star B star C is equal to. Okay. A star B star C equal to. First, complete the bracket answer. B star C. What is B star C? Yes. From the table, B star C is equal to B. Listen. B star C is equal to B. Bracket answer. That is already A fixed. So, a, A star B star C is equal to B. Now, which is equal to? Now, what is A star B? Listen. A star B is equal to C. So, which is equal to C? Which is first equation. Okay, it is first equation. Next. Now, change the bracket. That is, A star B star C is equal to. What is A star B? Yes, listen. A star B is equal to C. The bracket answer is C. Star already C fixed. Okay, which is equal to say A star B equal to C, then C fixed. Now, what is C star C from the table? Yes, C star C is equal to A. 
okay which is equal to a so is equal to a which is second equation now say first equation c answer second equation a answer so rhs are not equal so c and a not equal therefore lhs are not equal from 1 and 2 listen carefully from 1 and 2 it is clear that it is clear that a star b star c is not equal to a star b star c therefore star is not associative on a therefore star is not associative on a therefore star is not associative star is not associative on the set a so ends the answer children listen now eighth question from first exercise let a a is a matrix b is a matrix c is a matrix b any three boolean matrices okay which is important boolean matrices see boolean matrices means boolean matrices or real matrices whose entries are either 1 or 0 listen here all these three matrices where the entries are 0 and 1 okay so boolean matrices are real matrices whose entries are 0 and 1 listen whose entries are 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 so the entries are all 0 and 1 that's all so these matrices said to be boolean matrices okay be any three boolean matrices of the same type same type means that is same order listen first row second row third row first column second column third column fourth column so which is a three by three by four okay three rows and four columns three by four matrix three by four matrix three by four matrix three by four matrix so it is said to be same order that is same type three boolean matrices of same type means same order okay now find find a or b next second sub is a and b here cap means and and uh, inverted cap means or that is the meaning here a or b and c fourth subdivision a and b or c so there are four subdivisions so i want to find uh, say i am going to solve one and uh, three and uh, two and four homework okay second subdivision homework and the fourth subdivision homework okay myself one and three yourself two and four okay First, subdivision 1. Listen carefully. Subdivision 1 is very simple. Subdivision 1, A or B. Okay, A or B, which is equal to, which is equal to A matrix, middle relation is R, B matrix. Okay, A or B. Now, say, first one is A. First matrix is A. What is A? Listen, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, here, 0, 1, Next day, 0, 1. Next one. What is third row? 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, next B matrix. Because here B, so that is why it is B. Where B matrix equal to 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, next here. 1, 0, 1, 0. Next day, third row. 1, 0, 0, 1. Which is? B matrix. Okay. Now it is very simple. That is, say A or B. Here R means addition. That's all. R means addition. So we want to add. See, add means the corresponding elements are added. That is, first element plus first element. Again, the middle relation is R. R means addition. That's all. Just addition. Addition means the corresponding elements are added. So first element plus first element. Okay. And the second element plus second element. And the last element plus last element. Likewise. That's all. Just addition. So which is this equal to? Is a, which is equal to? Which is equal to? Here first element plus first element. So 1 plus 0. 1. Next one. Second plus second. 0 plus 1. 1. Third plus third. 1 plus 0. 1. Here 0. Last element and the last element. 0 plus 1. 1. Over. Next. Come to here. Yes, yourself. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. Next here. Here, first element plus first element. 1 plus 1, 2. Listen the rough work. 1 plus 1, 2. Okay. Which is rough work. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 2 means 
2 means which is equal to 1. Okay, 2 means which is equal to 1. 1 means 1 and uh, suppose 2 means 1 because the Boolean matrices are real matrices, real matrices whose entries are 0 and 1. Okay, 0 and 1 only. So your answer is 2 means 2 is considered as 1. That's all. Okay, again listen. 1 plus 1, 2, but the 2 is equal to 1. The last element, 2 is equal to 1. Okay, again consider here. First element, this row completed. Now, 1, very good. 1 plus 1, 2. So 2 is equal to 1. Okay, here. 0 plus 0, 0. Here, go. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 is equal to 1. That's all. So which is the answer for A or B? So first is subdivision completed. Now, come to third subdivision. Third subdivision, A or B and C. Okay, A or B and C. Yes, listen now, A or B. Here, there is no place to write. Okay, try to write. See, A or B and C, which is equal to. Here, A or B answer and C. That means and C. Okay, and C. See, what is bracket? Yes, the bracket answer is before and before step. Okay. See, A or B is the before answer. I want to write this. And straight away they may they are going to ask third submission means first you complete the bracket answer. Yes, bracket answer is the before answer, which is third submission. Okay. First I want to complete the bracket answer. Yes, bracket answer already available. Suppose directly third submission means first you want to complete the bracket answer, then you want to do. Okay. Now listen, what is bracket answer? Bracket answer is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1. Here, yes, 1, 1, 1, 1. Here, 1, 0, 0, 1. Yes, bracket answer is ready. Next is C. Okay, well, and C. What is C? Where C equal to 1, 1, 0, 1. Listen, 1, 1, 0, 1. Over. Next one. 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. Next, yes, all 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. Remember the relation. Here, R means addition. Now, AND means multiplication. That's all. Okay. R means addition. AND means multiplication. Multiplication means the corresponding elements are added. Okay. See, the corresponding elements are, sorry. Here, R means addition. The corresponding elements are added. Now, AND means multiplication. Here, in Boolean matrices, multiplication means the corresponding elements are multiplied. That means first element into first element and uh, the fourth element into fourth element. Likewise. Okay. Now listen. Here there is no place to write. Children listen. Now, and means multiplication. Corresponding elements are added. That means first element. First element into first element. So, 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Okay. Next. 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Next. 1 into 0. 0. Next. 1 into 1. 1. Over. Next. 1 into 0. 0. Okay. Next. 1 into 1, 1. Next, 1 into 1, 1. Next, 1 into 0, 0. Next, back here. 1 into 1, 1. 0 into 1, 0. 0 into 1, 0. Next, 1 into 1, 1. So, which is the right answer? 